Hello everyone, I am Sujoy and this is my another video in Computer Networking series. So today we will learn how to subnet in just 15 minutes. So let's start the video. So our question is, divide the network 216.12.10.0 in 4 small networks using class C IP addressing scheme. So for some basics, the word subnet means subnetwork. Sub means under or small and net means network. That means small networks under a large network. In subnetting, we divide a large network into smaller networks and we do the opposite in supernetting. So when subnetting is required, subnetting is required when we have a large IP address in space and we need to divide that into smaller networks for flexibility in network design. For example, here you have given this network address and this is your router which controls your network. Now under this router there are four small networks and you have to divide this network address or network into four small networks. And this router is connected via link to another router. So this network address represents all the networks under this router. Now coming to given info. So in question we are given that given network is 216.12.10.0. Number of smaller networks required are 4 and IP address and scheme used will be class C which can also be written as slash 24 to slash 30. I will explain this later in this video. Now apart from this given info you will need some conceptual info. The first info is IP address. IP address or inter internet protocol address is a 32 bit binary number divided in blocks of 8 binary bits. They are called octets and separated by dot. The word octet comes from the word octa which means 8. So there are 8 binary bits that's why the word octet. So an example of IP address is 216.12.10.0 where as you can see, each number is separated by a dot. This is called the dotted decimal representation, where the numbers are in decimal format and separated by dots. But actually, each number is can be represented by 8 binary bits. That we will learn later in this video. So just remember, total 32 bit binary numbers is divided into block of 8. 216 is the 8 bit number. Next 12 is also 8 bit number, 10 is 8 bit number and 0 8 8 bit number. So total 8 into 4 32 bit and that represents as a whole an IP address. And next is weighted binary chart that represent an octet. So this is the weighted binary chart. This is very simple. So starting from the right, the first number is 1 and each number on the left is multiple of 2 of the number on the right hand side. So 1 into 2 is 2 written on the left. Next this 2 into 2 is 4 written on the left. Similarly 4 into 2 8, 8 into 2 16, 16 into 2 32, 32 into 2 64 and 64 into 2 128. That's it. If you can remember this, or there is another logic for finding out the binary chart. That is, starting from the right, the first number is 2 to the power 0. Why 2? Because the binary has a base 2. So now coming to our subnetting. So the first number on the right is 2 to the power 0. That is equals to 1. Next number is 2 to the power 1. That is equals to 2. Next 2 to the power 2 that is equals to 4 and so on up to 2 to the power 7. Info number 3 class C IP addressing scheme. The class C IP addressing scheme can be represented by slash 24 to slash 30 or the first octet will be in between 192 to 223. So here our given network 216 falls between this range 192 to 223. So we can say 
this is the class C IP address or it can be represented 24 bits will be reserved or the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 or the fourth octet is variable. Now the logic behind this 24 bit reserved and 255.255.255.0 is in IP address as I mentioned each number represents one octet or eight binary bits. Now if we reserve 24 bits from the left so up to this point the bits are reserved that means the first octet the second octet and the third octet are reserved only the fourth octet is variable that is written here the fourth octet is variable and if we reserve the first three octets then we are reserving 8 into 3 total 24 bits so that is written here 24 bits are reserved and this slash notation represents that from 24 bits up to 30 bits are reserved out of total 32 bits. So I hope I could clear all your doubts regarding this. Now let's proceed to the calculation. So our given network is once again 216.12.10.0. Number of smaller network records are 4 and IP addressing scheme is class C. Now once again writing the weighted binary chart. Now the number of subnet records is 4 given in the question. 4 from this weighted binary table is equal to 2 to the power 2. So this 2 to the power value that is 2 is the number of bits reserved. That means 2 bits are needs to be reserved to get 4 small networks or 4 subnets. Now we, if we need 6 networks instead of 4 then the 6 falls between 8 and 4. So that is greater than 4 and lesser than 8. In that case we will take the larger value that is 8 and for 8 that is equal to 2 to the power 3. So for 6 networks we need to reserve 3 bits. So right now we need 4 networks so 2 bits need to be reserved. Now class C already has 24 bits reserved. So total 24 plus 2, 26 bits are reserved now. That is written as slash 26. Now if we take 2 bits from the left of the weighted binary chart, we get 128 the first bit and 64 the second bit. So 128 plus 64 equals to 192. So our subnet mask is given by 255.255.255 dot 192 and this subnet mask can also be represented by 216.12.10.0 slash 26 here the slash 26 represents the 192 and the 216.12.10.0 represents the network address and this 255 representation is suitable for computers or network devices and this slash notation is suitable for humans. Next is block size. It is very important. The block size is given by 2 to the power the undeserved bits. So in fourth octet we have total 8 bits out of which 2 bits are already deserved. So 6 bits are undeserved. So the block size is 2 to the power 6 or 64. 2 to the power 6 or 64 can be obtained from this weighted binary chart. Now starting from 0, count in the block of 64 up to 256. 256 is the maximum limit because by 8 binary bits we can represent maximum 2 to the power 8 or 256. Now let's count starting from 0, the first block is 0 to 64 that is 64 into 1. This is our first subnet. Now starting from 64, 64 into 2 is 128. This is our second block or our second subnet. Now 128 to 192 that is 64 into 3 192. This is our third block and 192 to 256 is our fourth block because 64 into 4 is 256. So this is our fourth subnet. So we have got all the four subnets. Now our required four subnetworks or subnets are 
216.12.10.0 first subnet 216.12.10.64 second subnet 216.12.10.128 the third subnet and 216.12.10.192 is the fourth subnet and this is the complete representation that is in first subnet the ip addresses are 216.12.10.0 up to 216.12.10.63 one number before the next subnet because from 64 next subnet will start next is 216.12.10.64 up to 216.12.10.127 one number below uh, before the 128 because from 128 next subnet will start so that is the logic and the last subnet is 216.12.10.192 up to 216.12.10.255 one number before this 256 next question this is optional that is finding out the valid host addresses range that means we have divided the network 216.12.10.0 in four small networks and they are written here this is the first sub network second this is third and this is fourth now if we put the computers in this small subnet then how many computers you can put in this sub network the answer is 62 because that is given by block size minus 2 block size is 64 minus 2 is 62 number of computers can be kept in one subnet so for this subnet we can put up to 62 computers and what will be the ip addresses for all the 62 computers that is given by so in first subnet the ip addresses which can be assigned to all 62 computers can be given by 216.12.10.1 up to 216.12.10.62 how the logic is very simple the first address that is 10.0 is the network address which we can't assign to computers and the last address dot 63 is called the broadcast address which again we can't assign to computers so we are left with 10.1 up to 10.62 total 62 computers in the first subnet and that is true for all the four subnets we can assign 62 computers per subnet so that's it today we learn how to subnet a large network into smaller networks with fixed subnet mask length in my next video you will learn about supernetting using vlsm or variable length subnet mask so that's it for now how was the video let me know in the comments below if you like the video, please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. By subscribing, you will get an email when I will upload my next video. And please share the video among your friends and family because sharing is caring. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video.